As you know, plants photosynthesize to make food in the form of glucose. They make use of this glucose in a number of ways. During photosynthesis, plants convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose. They use the glucose they produce for the following things. Plants use some of the glucose they make for respiration. Respiration is a process which occurs in all living organisms. It's where energy is released from the breakdown of glucose. Plants use this energy to convert the rest of the glucose into various other useful substances, which they can use to build new cells and grow. To produce some of these substances, plants also need to gather a few minerals from the soil. Glucose is converted into cellulose for making strong cell walls, especially in rapidly growing plants. These cell walls support and strengthen the cells. In plant cells, glucose is combined with nitrate ions, which are absorbed from the soil, to make amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks which make up proteins. When amino acids are joined together in a particular sequence, they make a particular protein. Glucose can be converted into other substances for storage. Plants can convert some of the glucose they produce into lipids, fats and oils. Plants store lipids in seeds. Sunflower seeds contain a lot of oil. We get cooking oil and margarine from them. Plants can convert glucose into starch. Glucose is stored as starch, so it's ready to use when photosynthesis isn't happening as much, like in the winter. In plants, starch is stored in the roots, stems, seeds and leaves. Potato and parsnip plants have stored a lot of starch underground over the winter, so a new plant can grow from it the following spring. We eat the swollen storage organs. Starch is insoluble, which makes it much better for storing than glucose. A cell with lots of glucose in would draw in lots of water and swell up. You need to make sure you know the ways that plants use glucose produced during photosynthesis. And you need to know that plants need nitrate ions from the soil as well as glucose if they're going to make proteins. Remember to answer the question on Google Classroom that comes along with this video.